All right, so um, I think I'm gonna go check out the other cover, covered bridge that's nearby. Uh, it's about 20 minutes away, maybe less, uh, back on the New York side. So I figure I can check that out real quick, get a couple photos, and we can uh, we can check that out. Buskers Covered Bridge. Check that out. Buskers Buskers Covered Bridge. Uh, 19 minutes. Yeah, let's go check that out. All right. Whew. All right. So about 19 minutes this way will bring us to that covered bridge. Okay. So we can check that out. Oh, I needed to cool off a bit. So did a nice flight through there. Beautiful area. You could ride around here all day long. It's nice. So I did a nice flight through there. Uh, now I figure we'll take a we'll take a nice cruise on over to this other covered bridge, which is 19 minutes away. Not too far. You can enjoy a nice ride. Yes, yeah, so I didn't go too high with the uh, the Mavic Mini there. I didn't want to. I didn't want to. Uh, it's like an enhanced uh, flying area over there, so you, you know you can't go too high. You didn't really have a reason to want to go high anyway, so I kind of wanted to stay low. It was only about a hundred feet up. I'll call her back in a few. What the heck? Look at that. Definitely gotta just take your time. Man, they just shot right out, just ran on down. They didn't even, they didn't even uh, like creep out. <laughs> oh shoot, that's nuts. Anyhow. like how in New York man you know you can I can get out and within uh, 10 minutes be on some awesome roads just just right outside of my house if need be and I could run a lot of those roads all the way up to Albany uh, I can go west on out to PA or you can go east on out to uh, to Connecticut if you so please so, as I know it's up to you Connecticut has a lot of nice roads also I haven't I haven't been venturing into Connecticut so I really can't uh, I really can't speak too much for them but I know a lot of I know a lot of guys that are out there that uh, they enjoy some nice roads some nice roads out there I know Payne's rides he has a lot of nice rides up nice roads out by him Your house is just out here in the middle of this field. Jeez, please. Uh, that's where your house is? Just right there in the middle? Man. Must be a pain in the butt cheek keeping that house, uh... Keeping that house cool. In the summertime, sucker must get hot. No, no trees, no nothing. Beautiful ride through here, man. Wow. 
really beautiful. Yeah, if I weren't hanging out last night, I think I would have been able to get up a little earlier. But... <laughs> hanging out with the guys. Uh, yeah, I went to sleep like 4 a.m., man. So... at 8 o'clock but by the time I got ready and set up and ready to go man it was about 8 eight thirty. no I'm sorry excuse me 10 30 the time I ate and I made some coffee and I kind of just you know just tried to just be ready 10 30 man so, it took me a little while just to get situated a few things I should have done last night I didn't do and then I got held up last night because uh let me tell you about how this watermelon exploded on the counter so I get it I come in the house right it's about three o'clock and I'm like oh my god I'm like what is that freaking smell I'm like ah <laughs> so I come to the kitchen and I look at the counter and there's like juice all over the counter like water I'm like what the heck I'm like how is there water all over the counter like this doesn't make sense you know I know I didn't I know I didn't leave the pipes on or anything like that so you know there really shouldn't be uh, a lot of, of water everywhere <sighs> anyway I look over and I see the watermelon and I'm like no don't tell me it was the watermelon so I go to touch the watermelon and it's just all soft and disgusting and I was just like uh yuck man so turns out the watermelon was sitting there so long no one ate it I didn't eat it my wife didn't eat it the kids didn't cut it you know usually usually either myself or the kids or someone will cut it and eat a piece but nobody cut it and oh my gosh that sucker went bad guys and it stunk so bad so I don't, I don't even want to know what was in there I just took it I threw it in the trash bag and I just threw it out and then whatever else was uh whatever else was laying around I took that cleaned it up with paper towels and then I threw that out too because I was just like I I'm just not I'm not I'm not I'm not dealing with this <laughs> I took the citrus cleaner and um, just try to clean up everything as much as I could just to get rid of it because it was just it was just disgusting guys it was really disgusting oh yeah so that's what I dealt with last night and as you see, we're out here enjoying a beautiful ride through Vermont. Beautiful, man. Just really beautiful.